COVID-19 cases appear to be leveling off and even dropping in much of the state. That's according to the Georgia Department of Public Health's daily update. The state reported just over 1,800 new cases today, the lowest daily total in more than a month. The number of deaths and new hospital cases are also down from their peaks this summer. Georgia has counted more than 238,000 cases since the pandemic started and more than 4,700 people have died. While Georgia as a whole continues to record fewer new COVID cases each day, some areas in central Georgia are seeing the highest infection rates they've logged since the pandemic started. Caitlin Heck is tracking the latest trends in the COVID-19 case curve. For just over a month, we have seen a steady drop in the number of new COVID-19 cases in Georgia. This is the latest data from the Georgia Department of Public Health as of August 16th. Now, it was around mid-July when Georgia saw its highest average of new cases at just over 4,300 a day. The daily average right before the two-week preliminary window in orange sits right above 2,400. The state's average hasn't been that low since June, but it is still more than three times the average reported back in April. It is important to note the curve is not quite as steep as it enters the 14-day preliminary window, and the tallies in that time frame are still likely to increase. So this will be an area to watch closely in the coming weeks to see if the downward trend continues. Meanwhile, some counties in central Georgia are actually seeing increases. Bibb County had been following the same downward trend as the rest of the state, but reversed course at the end of July and averaged about 53 new cases a day right before the preliminary window, compared to 46 three weeks before. In Houston County, you can see a small spike in cases during the first week in August after a steady downward trend. That is the same week students went back to the classroom, and we have reported on cases confirmed at several schools in the district, although right now it is too early to tell if the increase is tied to the return of school. This period still falls within the two-week preliminary window, where we typically see these tallies increase even more. Meanwhile, counties like Bleckley, Lawrence, and Pulaski all continue to see increases in cases. Bleckley recorded more than half of its total cases for the entire pandemic in the last two weeks. Lawrence County, more than a third of its total cases in that same time. Pulaski also saw a jump in cases, logging more than a quarter of its total in the last two weeks. As we start to move into fall, concerns around the country are growing about large gatherings at places like colleges, weddings, and football games. Georgia Tech released a new interactive county map showing the risk of at least one person having COVID-19 at different sized gatherings. For example, in many central Georgia counties, if you show up somewhere with 99 other people, there is a more than 99% chance someone with COVID-19 is there with you. Even cutting the gathering down to just 25 people, the risk still sits around 80 or 90% for some of our counties. In Bibb, there is still a 78% chance someone in a group of 25 will have COVID-19. We are continuing to track all of this data so we can bring you the latest trends. For now, I'm Caitlin Heck, 13 WMAZ News.